Hi, it's Michael Nischke from Retirement Singularity. At Retirement Singularity, I address the personal financial impacts of accelerating technology. One of the key themes that I think it's important for you to consider in this area is to become aware of the creative and destructive aspects of technology on the economy, on business, on jobs, and also on the investment markets. I was recently watching a replay of a panel discussion that included uh, Dr. Michio Kaku, who's a popular futurist scientist and also the author of a book called The Physics of the Future, and also included Peter Diamandis, the CEO of the XPRIZE Foundation, uh, who's also the co-founder of Singularity University, and also an author of a, a recent book called Abundance, really excellent book. Uh, the theme of this panel discussion was the future of business. Here's a clip of their discussion. People talk about a digital divide. We'll have the digital righty and we'll have the digital poor. That never materialized because even today, teenagers, young kids are on the internet. If you're not on the internet and you're a kid, you don't exist. You don't have a Facebook, you don't have a Twitter file. You don't exist as a child. The digital divide is not the problem because access is getting cheaper and cheaper. The problem is jobs because the economy is making a transition from commodity-based capital to intellectual capital. So there's pressure on the educational systems and not every nation is educating their people for this new economy. So I'll give you an example. One of the things that we're working on right now uh, as a next X Prize we announced in partnership uh, with Qualcomm that we're developing is called a Tricorder X Prize. And it's uh, going to be a device that's got lab on a chip capability. You can cough on it, you can do a, a blood finger prick, you can speak to it and so forth, and it can diagnose you. So you're going to start to have a disruption in the entire medical industry. What happens when this device is better, better than any group of board certified doctors? And then all of a sudden, this device as well in a village in Africa to a minimally trained individual makes them the village doctor. Right. You can take that one step further and you're going to start to have AI enabled and technology enabled devices that basically take people up the employment curve and make them professionals. Of course, the pressure now becomes what will happen to the medical profession or the legal profession. Now, I happen to think getting rid of the legal profession is a good idea, but that's my own personal opinion. So the, the question really is, you know, as we start to bring technology up, it's going to move a lot of people up and potentially out over the top. So it's creation of new jobs, but it's complete transformations of industries. As Peter Diamandis said, we are about to see complete transformations of industries. The economic and job disruption of advancing technologies is in fact a big recurring worry. But the word transformation, I think is key. There will be both uh, destruction of certain jobs, industries, companies, and completely new ones that will spring up that will offer new investment uh, potential as well as business and job potential. One book I've recently read on this topic that I would highly recommend uh, is called Race Against the Machine, How the Digital Revolution is Accelerating Innovation, Driving Productivity, and Irreversibly Transforming Employment and the Economy. This book deals exactly with the issue we've been talking about. There is a link to this book below the video. Also see a link of the full one hour and four minute panel discussion below as well. Until next time, live long, live well, and prosper.